but basically what Time Machine does, it backs up the entire files. So it's gonna back up all my files from today, and let's say tomorrow I delete a certain file, I can go back in Time Machine and retrieve that file. However, once Time Machine becomes too full, so let's say I took up those 10 terabytes that I have of Time Machine, there's no more space in Time Machine, it's actually gonna start deleting old backups and making that way it has enough space to make new backups. So that's how Time Machine works because it makes a backup every single day of all your files. So even files that you made today, if you made a Time Machine backup today, it will back those up and let's say tomorrow you delete them, you could actually retrieve them from Time Machine because you already backed them up. And that's why what Time Machine needs to do once it gets too full is delete old backups. And that's why I told you guys to make this other partition where it says Mac Backup and just drag and drop any files that you want to keep forever in there. And why you may want Time Machine is actually to keep a backup, a constant backup of your Mac. Just in case it ever crashes on you or anything like that, you could literally take your external hard drive, hook it up to a brand new Mac and transfer all your information and everything's gonna be just as it was on your old Mac. So I'm talking about software, everything, even your background, your desktop, how it looked like, your layout, the way that you organize your files in Finder, everything basically will be backed up in Time Machine. So that's why I personally suggest to always, always set up Time Machine. But of course you don't have to, you can just go the easy way and just drag and drop whatever files you need into your Mac backup. But if you also want a backup of all your apps from your Mac and everything else without you having to drag and drop anything, then just set up Time Machine as well. Quick note, don't worry if your Time Machine disk does not look like this. It could be another color, it could stay yellow like the other ones. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have it added here, then you're good to go. And remember I told you to add this Show Time Machine menu bar? Well, that means that your time machine is all the way up here. So let me just scroll, click on it. I can see my latest time machine backup and I can click on backup now. So if you guys wanna back this up right now, go ahead and click on it and then just let it run throughout the night if you have a lot of files. Anyways, hopefully this video made sense for you guys. And again, don't overthink your external hard drive. Just think of it as a big, big USB drive where you can just drag and drop files into it. And if you follow this video, you'll avoid any problems that you will have if you use the software that comes pre-built into your external hard drive or SSD. Anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.